All right, let's check out the mean, median, and mode homework set on WebAssign. Uh, when we get towards the bottom, you'll recognize some of those from the YouTube video and Google Drive document where um, we powered through mean, median, and mode just by using a calculator and brute force. Towards the end, we're going to look at how to use the statistical analysis software. It's called SALT in Cengage products or WebAssign. Uh, we've been talking about mean, median, and mode, and so let me zoom in a little bit, uh, and we're just going to go through this in order. Uh, number one, consider the mode, median, and mean. Which of these three represents the middle value of a data distribution? Middle and median, think of being out on the interstate, the median is in the middle, of your two uh, sides of traffic flow. Uh, part B, which average represents the most frequent value of a data distribution. Mode and most rhyme. That's one way to keep those two straight. And then, which average takes all the specific values into account? Uh, kind of they both do, but I think what they're alluding to is adding them all up, dividing by how many are, that's the mean or average. So I'm going to submit that. Excuse me. And we got all three green check marks, which is great. On number two, we're going to find the mean, median, and mode of the data set. Now, two of these we can get pretty easily. Um, mode, the most frequently occurring number is 6. No. There we go. Alright, so that one's 6. If you were to order these and then take the middle value, you would have 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. The third number is in the middle. In order, that would be 667. Now the mean, and you'll be able to see from your that uh, YouTube video that I produced earlier, that's in your playlist, um, if you order those smallest to largest, it's the median is the one in the middle. If there's an odd number of data entries, it's exactly the one in the middle. All right, now for the mean, we have 9 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7, which is 36 total, divided by 5 is 7.2. So that's what I'm going to put... for the mean. Let me check these. And we are good to go. Number three, when a distribution is mound shaped symmetrical, what is the general relationship among all the values of the mean, median, and mode? When they are mound shaped or shaped like a bell curve, all three are approximately equal. So when you have mound shape symmetrical, think of it as a bell curve, your mean, median, mode will be close to one another. Okay, good. Number four, now here's where we have a use salt button. Um, that one's a small data set, so I'll tell you what, actually, um, well, we got time to do it. When you open up SALT, I'm trying to open up the, there we go. You'll want to hit descriptive statistics 
and then over here to the right top right you'll have all these little juicy items the mean is 8.6 the median is 7 all right so mean is 8.6 median is 7 The mode, I can't figure out how to make salt give me the mode. If there's a way, whoops, sorry y'all. If there's a way, I apologize for not knowing it. If you add five to every value, then all these values will change by exactly that same amount. So adding and subtracting directly affects the mean, median, and mode. 7 plus 5 is 12. And 8.6 plus 5, that's 13.6. And then part C, we'll just add um, the first, third, and fourth all start out the same. Adding the same constant C to each data value results in the mode, median, and mean increasing by that C value. Okay, so we got them all right. Number five, we've done this one also in the previous YouTube video, or at least the YouTube video for mean, median, and mode. Um, but I also want to show you how to do it in the analysis. So salt. Okay. Descriptive. All right, so the mean is 146. I need to write that down or I'll never remember it. 169.4286. The median is 173. Okay, so I'm gonna bounce back to the homework set. The mean. is 169.4286 the median is 173 and then like we had to do on the homework set the mode just do your best to glance through there see if any one number shows up more than the others I have a sneaky suspicion it's the 180. I see a 180 showing up three times. A few others only show up twice, so we're after the most. Okay, so there we go. Um, I do want to re remind you that the last one, the weighted average, there's one of those on the other YouTube video pertaining to this section. So hope that helps.